Welcome folks, I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Char Kirk. Hey there. We are looking at the trailer to Cyberpunk 2077 featuring Keanu Reeves. This is their brand new trailer for E3 2019. Here we go. Me and my man, you made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? All right, start her up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up, we gonna be with you in a minute. Wow, oh, come on, man. Your neck, it's a mess. While the prosecutor has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. like the animation. in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this cocksucking attention, damn it. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Holy crap. We have a clearer understanding as to what's going on in the game because like we've seen so many trailers or i have anyway yeah. of cyberpunk it's like it's been in development for so long now we actually have a cover now we actually see our, who our main characters i mean it's been such a while since i've seen the last cyberpunk trailer like i think the last e3 that i don't actually remember all the details of it i don't mm -hmm. remember seeing this guy in that trailer 
No, I so. think the last trailers, it, it just gave you more of a sense of the world and, and what it was going to look like and just how awesome it was going to be. But at least now we know when it's coming out, which right. is April 2020. Right. So that's super exciting. I wonder how far along in the stage of development that Keanu Reeves actually signed up to be part of the game. Like if he had seen the previous trailer, because I don't even think Keanu Reeves is into video games. Like I don't think that's a thing that, he's, yeah. that he does. He wouldn't be opposed to being part of a game. Like he's done it before he did enter the matrix uh path of neo so he's done those two games that's why i think that's a hit because <laughs> i know he probably did like some kind of uh a motion capture for for the matrix video games that's super cool that he's part of this i mean he is the perfect character to be part of a video game of this nature mm -hmm. you know the kind of futuristic cyberpunk <laughs> thing i mean that's a perfect name it perfectly epitomizes what you're what you're experiencing here um the futuristic kind of blade runner world yes i think this looks fantastic obviously like we know these guys made witcher 3 i guess so like the witcher games which are known to be really immersive open world games and you definitely get the sense of this right here like this I bet this game is just gonna suck you in hundreds of hours right into this world. And I mean, it looks fantastic. And what the hell was right. that? All that Alita Battle yeah. Angel type stuff. That was crazy pants. <laughs> uh, what, one of the things I'm wondering at this moment, because it, it only just occurred to me is, this is probably the best showcasing of the graphics because it's like, if you had a maxed out PC with the best settings possible, you know, all that good stuff, like with an amazing graphics card, with mm -hmm. the latest RTX and all that stuff, or if you're an AMD person, I don't know what you use, but <laughs> so, but I mean, I would imagine that has a, it's a contributing factor. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm wondering if it's in-game graphics that we're looking at, or if this is like just cutscene cinematics that, the, you know, they're, they're dropping in, so. I think it's cinematic because it says it's the cinematic trailer. So. Yeah, but like the the thing is, there's there's an overlap now where they they'll have a cinematic trailer using in-game graphics a lot of times, mm. and so it's hard to tell. I mean, with Watch Dogs, that was certainly the case. I feel like, if I remember correctly. So I, either way, like the animation on this looks so good. Yeah. I mean, it it could have been done by Blur if it's just if it's just cinematic. I mean, it just looks so lifelike. It does, and like the the voice acting and just the the motion capture overall looks really great. Like I was getting really invested in that whole situation with him and his partner. I was like, no. Yeah, they did die. a good they did yeah. a good they did a good job of like getting you immediately in there. Yeah. Um, I love the design. Like even his outfit, his jacket. I'm wondering what the heck those are. Those like four. They look like jacks on the front of his jacket. Yeah, uh, and, and the lights as well. And... Right. It is very much like like Blade Runner, where it, it has this futuristic feel that also feels dirty. Yes. You know, it doesn't it doesn't feel clean and neat like the beautiful future we imagined when we were little kids. It feels like a very lived in world with you know messiness and whatnot. Yeah. You know. Definitely. It's funny that his name is Samurai. I mean, <laughs> it's just. Why? I don't know. It, it, it's you. Got, you got that. You got that gamer, a Twitch gamer whose name is Ninja. And oh you got yeah. This guy, guy who's named Samurai. They're both white dudes. <laughs> I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's just interesting to me. Whatever. That's his. That's his cool name, right? Like he's a, he's a samurai wandering mm -hmm. around killing people. I'm just. Glad, I'm glad they got Keanu Reeves in there because at least he's part Asian. <laughs> you know. Well, I felt like. Even in that scene, the cast was quite diverse. You know? That's true. Yeah. That's true. I like the CeeLo looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it looks like CeeLo, right? A little bit. No? Yeah. Am I wrong? No, I, I do not disagree with you. Okay. He does look like CeeLo. They do a good job of establishing the mood here, and I'm hoping that this speaks to the rest of the game in terms of the cinematics. Like, I'm hoping that it does have this very movie-like feel when you're playing the game. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I, I might be in the minority here, but that's one of the things I enjoyed about Metal Gear Solid is the when it was like truly cinematic as opposed to just talk, 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 talk. Like, I really enjoy how it kind of pulls you in like that. Uncharted did the same thing uh, to a lesser extent than Metal Gear Solid did. Because you got the mood right away, you got the tone, and the you, you knew exactly what the characters were feeling right away. And for a video game to pull you in like that and get you invested on an emotional level while you're going through your adventure, is cool. Like, I just, I really appreciate that. You know? Yeah, I mean, I do have a personal soft spot for RPGs. I just, like you said, it's the whole storytelling aspect, the getting to be a part of the story that's so 
intriguing to me, even though sometimes it just means that I'm not good enough to play the game and I just watch someone who is good playing it, but I, I like watching the story unfold and like being immersed in the world. And this looks like a very kind of cool, inviting world to be a part of. I don't even know if inviting is the right word because I think like inviting seems to give that sense of like it being pleasant and it's kind of grimy, but it's just fun, you know? It's like, right. it's, it's recognizable yet different at the same time. Here's my question. All that high-tech gadgetry and all that stuff, you know, far into the future, and they're still using TP? Toilet paper? Uh, you know, like, some, some They haven't figured out, you know, how to, how to adopt the, the Japanese technology where the water just shoots up your butt when you're sitting <laughs> on the toilet. You still gotta use toilet paper the old manual way. Oh, well, you know, even if it did shoot up your butt, your butt's wet, so you gotta wipe it clean and, and dry somehow. I'll have a hair dryer for your butt. Oh, good you know? point. Super sanitary. Or the main character can have like the special arm contraption that goes shh, and then has a hair dryer that goes shh, <laughs> you know? I don't know. Maybe the things can go wrong there. But <laughs> I just found that interesting that there's still toilet paper in the future with all these. Anyway, one of the other things that this I hope this explores is the is the notion that pretty much everybody is part cybernetic now. I've watched a lot of science videos, and that's one of the things that they talked about was that eventually there's gonna be this blur between how much we are machine and how much we're human because of how much we're gonna adopt cybernetic technology into our right. bodies. Like it's gonna be part of our brain so that we can think faster, so that we can process things faster. It's just gonna be, you know, accepted as that's what everybody does, you know? Wow. Um, kind of like in, you know, South Korea, Plastic surgery is just sort of accepted as a thing that a lot of people do. Right. Like, no one even thinks twice about it. It's just, you know, oh, for some, it's like almost an initi initiation, right? Like, you, it's just so part of the culture now. Here, uh, in the future, it's like cy cybernetic technology is just part of the culture. And, I, and that is where we're headed eventually. I mean, you look at how much we're dependent on our phones now, it just it makes sense. Ooh. It's going to be kind of like, uh, what's his name, JGL, when he was on he had the phone in his hand with Bruce Willis? Looper. Oh, you know? yeah. Smash. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. And uh, check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, and vlogs. I'm Javi Koei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.